Hey everyone, I'm going to show you some tips on how to get more life out of the battery of your Android phone or tablet. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4 I'm using. Some Androids may look a little different, but they all operate basically the same. Now first, let's start with the display since they generally suck out the most battery life, especially if you have a big display like on the Galaxy phones. On most devices, you can set the auto brightness, which is right here. You just check this box and your phone will automatically adjust the screen brightness depending on if you're in a dark room or outside or something and that will help save a lot of battery life from the display and it's even better to manually adjust it yourself right here it's good to keep the brightness as low as you can take it and still be able to see the screen since the display is usually the number one killer of batteries on androids now you should also be able to find this menu in the settings if you don't have that bar in your drop menu, just open up display and you can customize the brightness in here. And also another big thing is the screen timeout, which it's usually at 30 seconds. And this will tell your phone how long it should go until it turns the screen off if you're not touching the touch screen. So you want to set it to 15 seconds because 15 seconds is long enough. Also, if you're using an AMOLED screen, like on most Galaxy phones and tablets. It's good to have a dark background. You can take this background I'm using as an example of what not to do, because it's really bright. And also stay away from the animated wallpapers. They use up a bit of the processing and make your phone work a little bit harder. Now onto another major battery killer, wireless hardware. Now if you're away from home and you're not using a Wi-Fi hotspot or anything, you should turn your Wi-Fi off since that will use up quite a bit of power especially when it's searching for Wi-Fi signals now on the other hand if you're using Wi-Fi you can turn off the mobile which uses 3G and 4G signals and they both use a significant amount of battery while on and if you're using Wi-Fi you might as well just turn mobile off now some phones don't give you the option to turn this off but usually you could find an app that can control this and remember, Wi-Fi uses up less energy than 4G does, and it's usually quicker too. And also remember to turn off Bluetooth if you're not using it. And the GPS is a major battery killer too, so leave that off if you're not using your maps or anything. Now, most devices have the drop menu with the power options up here. If not, you can download an app called Power Toggles from the Google Play Store. It can leave a widget on your home screen with similar buttons. Now, speaking of widgets, you shouldn't use too many of them, and you shouldn't fill up your home screen with them, because they use up a lot of resources and leave the apps running while they're on there. It's usually better just to open up an app whenever you need it instead of just leaving the widget running at all times. Alright, anyways, moving on, you could also turn off the haptic feedback on your phone, and you could find that in the settings under sound. and. Towards the bottom on the Galaxy S4, you'll find it in the system options, or settings I mean, right here. Anyways, the haptic feedback is what will make your phone vibrate whenever you touch the screen. And I know it's nice to keep on, but it takes a lot of energy to run the hardware that makes your phone vibrate. And depending on how much you touch the screen on your phone, this could eat up your battery pretty quick. Now you could also turn the vibration sensitivity down for whenever you get phone calls or anything. Now this I like to keep up so I can feel it whenever I'm getting a phone call if my phone's in my pocket or something. But if you want to save power you could turn this down a little bit. Now the next tip would be to keep your phone in a place where it gets good service. For example, set your phone on the computer desk instead of keeping it in your pocket. Or if possible, keep your phone on a windowsill because the harder your radio has to work to find the signal, the more battery it eats up. Now on to the next tip, which would also be in the settings menu. You could go to your application manager and delete any apps that you don't use anymore. Because a lot of apps, most of them anyways, have background processes that go on. And Facebook sure has a lot of them, but we all use Facebook, so you probably don't want to get rid of that. But anyways, just delete apps that you don't use anymore. And always make sure that you close them whenever you're done or they'll keep running in the background. Now on the Galaxy S4 and most Androids, if you hold down the home button, it will bring up a menu of all the running apps. 
and you can see I still have the camera and S-Memo running, so I could slide those over to get rid of them. Or you push close all at the bottom, right? But anyways, let's move on. You can turn off fancy features like the smart stay, and there are other stuff if you open up the settings over in my device. All these things at the bottom are really cool, like the air view, the smart screen, the motion. But these air gestures will keep your front facing camera running at all times so it knows if you do any gestures. And like the smart screen keeps the camera running so it can read your face to know when to do the smart pause or smart stay. Now those are cool features, but if you really don't need them, it's best to turn that off so that you can save some battery life. Another tip is to not let your phone run hot. If you're playing with a lot of demanding apps or you've been video chatting or something and your phone starts to heat up, you should probably give it a rest for a little bit and let it cool off because the hotter your battery gets, the faster it'll drain power. And it's really not too good for its overall health anyways. Now another tip for you would be to download a power management app like Juice Defender. Let me look it up real quick. Now this app has a lot of features that will help save your battery life. For example, the smart functions and different presets you could set your phone to. It has the Wi-Fi toggles and all of that stuff. And it also has a bedtime mode so it can automatically turn off your radios and stuff whenever you're sleeping and you can make it automatic by setting the time that you usually sleep so it will automatically do all that for you and you can set up other schedules and there's a lot more you can do with that it's a free app too so that's cool well that's it for this video but remember that every one of these tips will improve your battery life quite a bit if you follow the guide you should no doubt see a vast increase in your battery now if you found this video helpful please rate it and leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe to the Android Noobs channel for future Android Noob guides and to see some cool apps for Android, and check out androidnoobs.com. I'll talk to you all again soon.